successfully landed its Perseverance rover on Mars. Well, it's been busy for the last 15 months. Imagine being on Mars and seeing a ridge that is 3 billion years old and that holds the secrets of how the red planet changed from wet to dry. That's where NASA's Curiosity rover is right now and you won't believe what it has found. Seriously, you are not ready for it. But before we get into it, let me ask you a simple question. How would you feel if the Curiosity rover found human skeletons on Mars? It feels strange when I think about this, so I wanted to ask you. Let me know in the comments section. Now let's get started. You probably know that Mars is a dry and dusty world today, but did you know that it used to be a wet and watery world billions of years ago? That's right, Mars was the cool kid with oceans, lakes, rivers, and even rain in its ancient past. But what happened to all that H2O? Where did it go? And how did it shape the Martian landscape? Well, that's what NASA's Curiosity rover is trying to find out. Curiosity is a car-sized robot that landed on Mars in 2012, with a mission to explore Gale Crater, a huge impact basin that has a three-mile-tall mountain in its center. This mountain, called Mount Sharp, is like a layered cake of Martian history. Each layer represents a different era of Mars's evolution, from wet to dry, from warm to cold. Since 2014, Curiosity's been climbing that mountain looking for clues about how Mars changed. Along the way it found signs of ancient lakes and streams having a good old time on the crater floor. But Curiosity is not just into surface water, it's also digging deep, trying to uncover Mars' underground water secrets. After all, Mars might look dry now, but who knows what it's hiding beneath the surface. You see, water can work wonders when it flows beneath the surface. It can dissolve minerals, transport sediments, carve channels, and shape unique landforms. One of these distinct landforms is known as a debris flow fan, a cone-shaped deposit of rocks and mud that forms when water rushes down a slope and spreads out at the bottom. Debris flow fans are common on both Mars and Earth, but scientists are still piecing together how they form. And that's where Curiosity comes in. Curiosity has recently reached a ridge that is believed to be a remnant of a powerful ancient debris flow on Mount Sharp. The ridge is called Geddes Vallis Ridge, and it's a destination long sought by the rover's science team. But what makes the ridge so special, and why did Curiosity Curiosity spent three years trying to get there. Well, Gadiz Vallis Ridge is ancient, around three billion years old, from a time when Mars had its last wet phase in this region. Back then, water was flowing down Mount Sharp, carrying mud and boulders with it. This water reaction formed a big fan-shaped pile at the mountain's base. Later, wind sculpted it into the impressive ridge we see today. Now, here's the fun part. Curiosity's been eyeing this ridge for about three years, but getting there was not easy. The rover had to deal with sharp rocks, steep slopes, and tricky terrain made it a tough journey. It took four tries, but they finally made it. And guess what? Gadiz Vallis Ridge is like a treasure chest of Martian secrets. So all those rover adventures were definitely worth it. Who knew that reaching a ridge could be such a rocky road, huh? Curiosity has spent 11 days at the ridge like a tourist, snapping pics and checking out those dark rocks that clearly came from somewhere else on the mountain. These rocks didn't just appear, they hitched a ride with the debris flowing from high up on Mount Sharp. Now, Curiosity can't exactly take a hike up these, so these rocks provide a rare insight into what the upper mountain is made of. Curiosity had its close-up moment with the debris flow fan, and let's just say it's seen a thing or two. This fan is like a puzzle with different pieces and lobes, telling tales of how the water changed direction and speed over time. And some of those rocks are as big as cars, showing how powerful the water was. Curiosity has even captured a stunning 360 degree panorama of the ridge and its surroundings. In this panorama, you can see the path Curiosity took up the mountainside, including Marker Band Valley, where evidence of an ancient lake was found. But wait, that's not all. Curiosity is not done exploring exploring Gadiz Vallis Ridge. Now it's on a mission to reach the channel above the ridge, where all that water reaction started. This channel could spill more secrets about how and where the water moved down Mount Sharp. Curiosities like the detective, who just can't resist one more clue, always up for another adventure. Curiosity is also preparing for its next big challenge, 
crossing the sulfate-bearing unit. This is a layer of rock that contains a lot of sulfate minerals, which are formed by water evaporating and leaving behind salts. This layer could be a sign of Mars going from wet to dry. In a few months, Curiosity will reach this layer, and we're all eager to see what it uncovers. Could there be more clues of ancient water? Maybe even a hint of ancient life? Now, aliens might be a stretch, but hey, you never know. But before we get too excited about the future, let's take a look at some of Curiosity's greatest hits. First, it stumbled upon organic molecules in Martian rocks, which are the building blocks of life. Not just that water, perhaps millions of years ago, but also these organic compounds. Can you this doesn't mean Mars had life, but it shows that the planet had the potential for it. Then, Curiosity detected methane in the Martian air, possibly from living things or just some lively chemistry. Now, onto the radiation news. Curiosity's radiation meter told us Mars has more cosmic rays than humans can handle without a space umbrella. So, future Mars visitors, pack your sunscreen. But on Mars, sunscreen is as useful as a chocolate teapot. You need something that can stop the cosmic rays from frying your brain like an egg. Curiosity also experienced a dust storm that engulfed the entire planet in 2018, which reduced its solar power and visibility. Not exactly a rover's dream vacation. Curiosity captured stunning images and videos of the Martian landscape, including panoramas, selfies, sunrises, sunsets, clouds, dust devils, and even a partial solar eclipse. But it didn't stop at photos. Curiosity also turned scientist, using its laser to examine rocks. It even recorded some Martian sounds like wind and the occasional wheel squeak. And then there's the Martian oxygen mystery. It spiked by 30% in spring and summer, then went back to normal in the fall and winter. The source of the extra oxygen is still unknown. But hold on, there's more. Curiosity found a new type of Martian rock called buckskin, loaded with up to 90% silica. Silica's a mineral that forms when water has a chat with rocks. It's pretty good at preserving things like organic matter and fossils, so finding it on Mars is like finding a treasure chest of potential clues for ancient life. Curiosity also captured a rare event, Mercury crossing the Sun from Mars. This is a very uncommon sight as it only happens about 13 times per century from Earth's perspective. But it's not just for the photo album. It's also a way to understand how our solar system works and test if Einstein's theory of general relativity is still holding up. And Curiosity didn't stop there. It also did some chemistry experiments by heating up Martian soil samples. What it found were organic salts, but these aren't your typical table salts. They're their special compounds with carbon and chloride, kind of like leftovers from organic stuff. You know, like the kind of things living beings might leave behind or that a space rock could bring. As you can see, Curiosity is working hard to make things easier for us, especially for the first astronauts who will land on Mars. You might have no idea what they will go through on the journey, and let me give you a hint, it's not pretty, it is brutal. We made a video on this topic and explained the details. Click here to watch it right now. It'll be worth it, trust me. Maybe in the next 50 years, is, we will be able to go there, to Mars. Think of it as an investment for the future. But wait a second, before you go and watch that amazing video, let me drop the classic line. Ready? Here it is. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your buddies, and hit that subscribe button with the bell icon. I know it's the usual YouTuber stuff, but it really helps our channel grow. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time with more fantastic space news.